everybody, Will back, Will Shop Dayton, and we're here with a 2006 Chevy Impala, and we're gonna be changing out the rear lateral arm. So basically what you're gonna need is, I'm using my Milwaukee Impact, but you're gonna need a hammer to hammer out the long bolt holding both of the control arms in. You're gonna need a most likely half inch socket. Some of those bolts are rusted, so you're probably gonna need a half inch socket. You're gonna need a 21 millimeter wrench to hold the bolt that is through the lower subframe. An extension to release the 18 millimeter bolts that hold up the subframe. You're gonna need a, I believe, a 21 and a 13 16 to release the long bolt. And you're gonna need an 18 and 21 to release the bolts um, holding on the lower control arm. So, bam. So, be right back. Uh, we're gonna start. Well, actually, we're here. We have it jacked up on jack stands. We have the tire, the jack, and the jack stand. And I would suggest penetrating fluid because these bolts are very rusty. So I'll be right back. We're gonna start with um, removing the bolt from this side, the closest side. All right, back with the first side. This is a 21 millimeter. Just wanna see if I can break it free first. Probably get around here where I got some leverage. And we can, so that's breaking free. So, yeah. So we're gonna go to the opposite side over here and use our impact to take that off. Be right back. All right, we're back with the other side of the control arms, as you can see here. Just gonna use our half inch. Let's see if we can uh, break this one free as well. And it does, it moves freely. The whole thing is spinning. So we're gonna go ahead and just hit that with the Milwaukee Impact. Be right back. All right, back. We're gonna switch this side over here so it holds it. And we're gonna go ahead and just take this nut off. There is a nut and a washer there. One nut, one washer, 21 millimeter, and this is when I said you might need a hammer to knock that through. So we're gonna use the hammer to knock both of those free. Should just be a little tap. All right, now we should be able to possibly pop this first arm off. Free. And now I'm going to repeat the process. Just tap it. And at this point, we should be able to either pull it or unscrew it from this side here. Fine. And we got it. There's also a washer for those on the end of here. All right, it's a little bit of an ordeal. I'm gonna put this together how it goes so we don't lose anything. We have a washer and we have the nut. All together, this one goes on the outside, this one goes on the inside, good. All right, super long bolt, done. All right, let's take a look at what we got. Be right All right, now that we release that very long bolt. Um, this end is free. As you can see, the strut moves, everything moves. You may want to release the sway bar link right here. Um, and it's like, like a 15 or 16. So now we're gonna go up under the vehicle and we are going to lower the subframe. I may remove the exhaust, but I may not have to, so we'll see. And uh, drop the subframe down, remove the bolts, and get this changed out be right back all right we're back up under with the bolt that holds it 
the uh, the, the uh, screw will come out the other side, which is why you have to drop the front subframe because it will be hitting the gas tank. So I'm just gonna get this on here and see if I can uh, possibly break this free. I'm trying to get y'all the best views. Actually, it can't be. All right, back up under with the uh, bolt that hold the uh, rest of the control arm in. And as I, as I said, like one of these uh, penetrating fluid is your friend. freehand but we're trying to break that bolt free just to see if it'll come free and then we will drop the subframe so, right take a look. okay I'm back I did get that broken down uh, broken free rather got it spinning I just had to uh, put some leverage on it so now we're gonna remove these two 18 millimeter bolts that are holding up the subframe on each side. As you see, the uh, subframe did drop down some, so we're gonna grab that bolt and we are gonna move to the other side and repeat the process. Be right back on the other side. We're gonna do the same process here. should come down the exhaust still may be in the way but I sh think I might have enough room to get it we'll find out if anything we'll just remove the exhaust real, the exhaust real quick and this one See if we got enough room, be right back. Sorry, being in vertical, but that's the only way I can pretty much show y'all up on the car. So, right now, I have a uh, 21 millimeter wrench on the bolt right here, and I have my 21 millimeter socket. And I'm just breaking it free and take it off. It's pretty difficult with all the rest. We got the sub subframe dropped down long enough. We're trying to see if we have uh enough space or not to get this bolt out depends on how long the bolt is should be able to get it by hand i would think let's get it by hand i'm gonna go from up top there we go oh yeah that makes it a whole lot easier go from up top above the subframe that'll make it so much easier now See if this bolt's gonna come out or not. We have enough. Oh, just an, almost enough room. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, got it. Without removing the exhaust, got enough room. So now we can remove this. We can get away from up under the car and go back to the regular mode. All right, back. We've got gotten both the bolts out, so it should just come out. A little wiggle.
just a little bit different. There we go. There's a wire loom attached. Let's compare our new parts. So that's our old one. Pretty bent. <laughs> Just a... Pretty, very bent. And yeah, let's leave it at the bend. Get our new one. Part number. I don't know where they got it. I didn't supply it, but definitely a beefier version and about the same length, just uh, bent up. So let's go ahead and reinstall. We're gonna start with the uh, top and basically working. Reverse. All right, back. We're about to go up under and get our new part into the subframe. Hope y'all can. See well. Okay, we have the new part basically in place. This moves, wiggles back and forth. So we're gonna put the bolt through and snug that up, and then we'll torque everything down, put the subframe back, and we're good. Be right back. All right, now we're back up under. We still have the subframe um loose we're gonna take a 21 millimeter put it on the back side there and we're gonna take a wrench and tighten it, or a ratchet 21 millimeter ratchet and we're gonna tighten that down then we're gonna go down here and tighten up that and that then we're gonna put the subframe back i'm probably gonna put the subframe back as soon as i tighten up this end here all right be right back Sorry I can't get you good video because I'm up under the car and the mount is just too tall. So, appreciate you all though. Alright, back. We're going to check the subframe up. And uh, get the bolts into the subframe. Alright. We should start just going up. We just want to get the bolts in. Check there. See how good of a hole we have or line up. Side. And we're pretty much done. All right, back. We got the uh, subframe torqued down, tightened up. And now 
we are going to tighten up the uh, last bit of it, which is that bottom bolt there. Use my impact, make quick work of it, and we're all done. Before I end the video, I like to say thank you to everyone who watches my videos, all my subscribers, everyone in the comments, chat. I really appreciate y'all. We are done. That is how you change out a rear lateral link. Um, on the difficulty of the job, I, not that hard. A uh, little time consuming. Um, make sure you have your jack in it. If you wiggle that screw on the subframe, you should be able to sneak it past that uh, gas tank without removing the exhaust. So with that, I wanna say appreciate you all. And you all have a blessed day. Peace. Yeah. <laughs>